Good morning, everybody. Ari here on Instagram and YouTube as Nothing New Thrifts. Uh, so today was supposed to be a garage sale hunting episode, um, and we did. We did go hunting for about an hour, hour and a half, honestly. Um, it was super foggy in the morning, though, so I think a lot of people were calling their yard sale off. We actually went to three that were listed, and all three of them were no-shows, so that was pretty whack. Um, but no biggie. We actually have a local swap meet that we have never been to. So we are uh, finally having a chance to pull up today and we're gonna go see, uh, see if we get lucky. So as soon as we walked in, this was actually our first booth to the right. It was a little bit overwhelming, but I'm sure there's definitely some money to be made here. Um, sounded like they were giving fair prices and checking the stuff is usually pretty easy. A lot of the stuff will just have a model number on the back that you can kind of just look up on eBay real quick. Um, it was the first booth, so we didn't want to get stuck here for too long. These phones did catch my eye for a second, um, but we didn't pick anything up. We just decided to kind of keep walking through, see what else we could uh, see on our first lap around. You can always count on a couple tool boots at the swap meet. What else we got here? Some, uh, oh nice, look, some car radios. Wonder where they got those. Some shoes. Let's see. Hello. Boom, this is our style right here. Um, yep, this is what we like. Big piles of clothes, 50 cents a piece, a dollar a piece. Honestly, this looks like it came from yard sales. You love to see it. Yeah, all right, man, so. I had to come to the car to drop off our first load of bags. Um, oh, don't want to flip that. Yeah, um, pretty good so far, honestly. I think we're not even maybe halfway through walking through the swap meet. Um, man, it was like just packed, packed with stuff. Uh, the first booths were like super interesting, but we didn't want to stop right away at the first booths. So we, you know, we walked through a little bit. Um, we ended up picking up. Uh, here, I'll show you guys. So this is everything so far from the first half of the uh, of the swap meet. Uh, spent literally, I think we spent eighteen dollars. So spent 10 bucks on this bad boy. You guys know we love these. So it um, doesn't look like a great one. I looked it up. Um, I should be able to get 50, 60 bucks for that easily. And then we paid $8 or $6 basically for a bunch of clothes. And I picked up uh, one gift right here for a buddy. A little cool little plush, like a vintage plush. Um, but yeah, 18 bucks total. Not bad at all for this nice local yard sale or local um, the Alpine Village outdoor. All right, we got another Ikea bag. We had some little tacos and now we're going back in. Oh my God, those tacos. I don't want to call them little, that's disrespectful, but they were small. But my goodness, they were so good. I think mean, we paid seven bucks for five tacos. We got four different kinds. Oh man. And we found another one of these lovely piles of clothes. I think everything was a dollar here. Found a bunch of cool hats. Cycle, Oregon, this Moffett Field hat. This one we actually sold already, Viore. This one, I'm not sure if it's real or not. This is a Nike Belvedere vodka hat. That was pretty cool. And a Nintendo Wii bag. We picked this bad boy up for 10 bucks and it actually sold already for $42.95. Um, might have just had our score of the day right here, folks. Just picked this up, paid 50 bucks, caught my eye right away. Um, we don't really have a way to test it, but it looked like it might be a $500 pickup. Let's go. So, not a bad day at all for our first time at the uh, Alpine Village swap meet. Um, we spent way more time there than we thought we would. I think we were there for almost three hours. We got there at like 8.30 in the morning. We didn't leave till um, like a little after 11. Overall, I believe we spent $100. We spent $50 on one item and then $50 on the rest of the items that we picked up, uh, mostly clothing. And then we picked up one DVD VCR that, as you guys saw, ended up not working when I brought it home. 
Um, so that was $10 we spent on that. And then $50 on the big item that I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Or you guys saw already, but I'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, first, I want to show you guys a couple of the cool clothing items that we grabbed. Uh, just a couple of hoodies that I didn't get to um, show in the video. So um, yeah, the first item was this nice Slytherin hoodie um, embroidered on the front. Nice chest on the sleeve. Nice chest on the sleeve. Nice patch on the sleeve. Um, yeah, super nice sweater. I think we paid 50 cents for that one. Um, then we had the Fullerton sweater, the vintage Jansport Fullerton sweater. And that thing's awesome. It had this like nice plaid like print in the chest. Um, the next one was another uh, pretty basic but clean USC black. It was like a 2XL hoodie. Paid five bucks for that. And then the last hoodie is this nice um, hundreds jacket. It's a nice striped like hundreds jacket, gray and red striped jacket. Um, just clean. Uh, again, I think we paid a buck for it. So yeah. Not bad. Uh, pretty cool clothing pickups. And then we had the two items that I just wanted to talk about really quick. I did already. Um, the two items that sold. We sold that Guitar Hero guitar. Um, we had it at $50 and then um, we were having kind of a slow day. So I sent an offer of $43. Um, it sold right away. Um, they paid. That's going out. And then we have the Viore hat. It's my first time finding this brand, Viore. Apparently, it's a pretty big deal. Um, I saw Thrift of Life was talking about it right after I found it. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, anyways, I think we had that listed for a day or two before it sold on Poshmark. Um, yeah, we sell on Poshmark also. I have, um, basically just the clothing items. We have some of our clothing items listed on Poshmark, and right now we're working on getting more of our items listed on Poshmark and kind of trying to keep that steady. Um, Poshmark's awesome, man. It's, uh, it's super easy to use. It's easy to start with. Um, I think it's definitely simpler to use than eBay. Um, eBay's simple too, but Poshmark's a little bit easier. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we did sell that on Poshmark for $22, have that also going out. Um, and yeah, so let me talk about the last item. So here it is, folks, the Panasonic AWRP655N. Um, yeah, paid $50 for this bad boy right here. Um, caught my eye right away. I mean, look at all these crazy buttons. I thought it was some kind of like music controller thing, um, like music producer kind of keyboard thing. Um, anyways, I saw the camera control thing here. I saw the Panasonic logo in the corner. And then obviously we just looked it up, AW uh rp 655 n and yeah came up on ebay right away i believe there was one listed for 700 uh one or two sold i think one was sold for a thousand and another sold at around 700 dollars um yeah we paid 50 bucks i'm gonna see if i can get this up for 500 dollars and sold quickly um we have no way of testing it so we're just gonna go ahead and list it um as is and yeah hopefully we can get a quick flip this was definitely the best find of the day. Um, one of our best finds in a while. Pretty exciting. Um, anyways, um, excited to pit this up, excited to get this sold. Um, so I think that we will definitely be going back to the Alpine uh, Alpine Indoor or Alpine Outdoor Swap Meet, sorry. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great day overall. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was our first time doing like a longer uh, swap meet video. Um, it was fun for us. It was a different, uh, different atmosphere. Um, but you know, same old thing, thrifting, sourcing, um, just looking for items that we can, you know, get up on our eBay store. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. We appreciate it. Hope you guys, uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys saw something interesting. Um, definitely, you know, leave a comment if you did, uh, hit the thumbs up button. If you did hit the subscribe button, if you want to, you know, keep watching more videos like this, we definitely have a couple more videos coming. We have a thrift all day video coming in a couple days. Um, I know it's been a while since we did one of those. So, you know, we were happy to get out there and, and get that done. So definitely have, we'll have that posted here. Like I said, in a couple days. Um, yeah, so definitely hit that subscribe button at uh, Nothing New Thrifts on Instagram and on YouTube. And we will see you guys here back in a couple days.